catechesis and persons with disabilities, a necessary engagement in the daily pastoral life of the church. Dignity made in God's image. The church affirms that every person has inherent dignity. Made in the image of God, all human beings can know and love their creator. Um, Giorgio celebrated his birthday, first birthday yesterday. That's something we didn't know we would ever get to when we first found out that he was on his way. And he is such a fire and such an inspiration of love to us all. And without our faith, it wouldn't have got us through. He knew at 17, 19 weeks of gestation in the womb that she had down soon. It's okay. It's all right to have a kid with uh, a disability. Yep. And it wasn't a punishment from God. She has turned out to be such a blessing. My spiritual life is um, an integral part of me and without it I would not survive. I cannot survive. It is not a crutch. It is something that is innate within me. I have got in my love somehow. I, I, I know I had to thank him for what he done for me. You know, I can say a lot of times, well, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing here, but, uh, you know, you're going to help, help me out, show me what to do. But I think when we each do our part, parent, family, parish, school, I think that it comes together in a way that we can recognize the dignity of people. Uh, one of the things I always like to say to families is that the Lord has something very special for each of us to do. And as Catholic schools, part of our responsibility is to help prepare those children to, to fulfill the Lord's mission for them in their life. Catechesis. Sacraments. Ensuring that all human beings have the support they need to catechize and to be catechized is central to the mission of the new evangelization. Catechesis fosters education in parishes and Catholic schools and increases active participation in liturgy and the sacraments. Michael's inclusion in our Catholic schools has brought us such deep joy. He is not just accepted, but rather appreciated and is truly thriving. We would like others to have this same opportunity. My Jesus for Epic, my school is great. My heart is good to me. Ben, match Jesus. Match Jesus. Great job, Ben. What is this? Um, what is this? Good job. What is this? Bye. Excellent. Estoy muy feliz porque mi hija Jasmine recibió sus sacramentos aquí de la primera comunión. Es en una iglesia que encontramos para los niños especiales. Eh, me gustaría que en todas las iglesias del mundo tuvieran un programa para niños especiales, que ellos también los tomen en cuenta para que reciban sus sacramentos. Toda la familia. Para nosotros es muy importante la formación en la fe de nuestra hija, para que cada día se pueda encontrar y enamorarse más con Jesús. Damos gracias a Dios porque nuestra diócesis provee educación religiosa para niños con capacidades especiales. Hola, somos la familia Vela de Monterrey, México. Hemos sido bendecidos por una sólida fe católica de nuestros padres. A través de los sacramentos nos sentimos cerca de Dios. La misa y la comunión diaria son nuestro gran pilar para seguir el camino con nuestro hijo con autismo. And my experience going to Mass with Johnny uh, was very profound because I could see uh, his deep reverence for the Eucharist. We want to thank the so many publishers throughout the world who have invested their time and resources to develop creative and beautiful catechetical curriculums and materials that promote and support sacramental prep and faith formation. Tenemos un programa de formar a través de cursos en línea a nuestros catequistas y líderes católicos y especialmente ahora estamos diseñando un programa en español para que catequistas y líderes tengan la capacidad y el entrenamiento para trabajar con personas con discapacidades. 
bishop from Warbon, or whom was Nazi. Now, saying I would to me a boy, no often a Jessia, a Jessibo, Yan, a sorry moon, ye to me a so ye are boy at church for no, or why in Yamini Juma, Yamini Juma, I could do, so saying, Madame Massey. I have a mental illness, bipolar with psychosis. People with mental illness, just like anybody, need ongoing faith formation. Saint Père, priez pour moi que je reste toujours fidèle avec ma femme. Je vous demande de prier pour nous, pour toutes les couples qui s'aiment. Vocation, meaningful participation, agents of evangelization. Catechesis encourages the distinctive vocation of every member of the body of Christ. Hello, this is Fadi Harabi from Lebanon. I strongly believe that being a church of all and for all is to allow to each member of the body of Christ, including people with disabilities, to become witnesses of Jesus' resurrection in the world. With myself, with my, my condition of not having arms, is that I want to use it to bring love and joy and glory to God into the world. Some people look at my injury as tragic and devastating, but my faith has brought me confidence and peace that God has a bigger plan for me. This isn't just about helping individuals with disabilities. We need them in the church. We need their active participation. I became an officer because I want to be a part of the Mass, and I like helping the priest. When I serve God, I feel happy. I am proud to be a part of my church. Me gusta ir a misa, leer las lecturas e evangelios y comulgar. Me siento muy feliz. I like to um, do the offer tree because I'm helping the priests and I like to do it to help God. They are ushers, they are readers, they are Eucharistic ministers, and they have been trained to be that particular uh, ministry. Well, the 66 years is, is with the St. John says this, this is his occasion program. What, what I did was open the door for the children, the teachers, and their parents. It wasn't a job, it was, a, it was fun for me. And Ben, you love the 9 o'clock mass. Hush. You come every week, right? Hush. Hush. What do you like best about Hush. it? The music? Hush. Right, Hush. the music is great, and you sing. Huh? Oh, it's all okay. <laughs> Community, belonging. Christians belong with one another by virtue of their baptism. Their participation in the life of the church is necessary. TCYA means Deaf Catholic Youth Initiative for the American, and we invite all kinds of deaf young people to participate to activities. We really enjoy ourselves and we learn about our faith. How to take care of each other, how do we walk with each other, taking care of us, and that God treats us equally. Deaf people, hearing people, it doesn't matter. We're all the same in our faith. Hi, my name is Father Paul Ziramenya, and I serve in the Archdiocese of San Francisco, California. I am inspired by the Holy Father's message of going to the peripheries where most of our deaf Catholic brothers and sisters live and thus unable to come to the parish. My request is more support from the local bishops. Thank you and love you. Me, me. I serve the Native American uh, Americans within the reservations. Uh, we do have children who do have mental and physical uh, disabilities. And we thank you, Papa Francis, for all that you have uh, done for them, for us, so that we can be one true church. Maraming maraming salamat, Papa Francesco. Gracias. Gracias, Papa Francisco. Hi, Papa Francis. Thank you for praying for the children. Catechesis and persons with disabilities is a necessary engagement in the daily pastoral life of the church. For the church is most fully itself and more complete 
when each member of the body of Christ is valued and engaged. Join us now in celebrating the pastoral and catechetical accessibility of the Catechism of the Catholic Church throughout the world. Produced for the Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization by the National Catholic Partnership on Disability, NCPD, Washington, D.C., USA. Premiered at the International Conference, Catechesis and Persons with Disabilities, a Necessary Engagement in the Daily Pastoral Life of the Church. Pontifical University, Urbaniana, Rome, Italy, 20 October, 2017. Project Team. Janice Benton, NCPD Executive Director, Bob Quinlan, NCPD Project Manager, Esther Garcia, NCPD Manager of Programs and Outreach, Julia Gilberto, NCPD Intern, Sister Kathleen Schipani, Chair, NCPD Board of Directors, and Director, Office for Persons with Disabilities and the Deaf Apostolate, Archdiocese of Philadelphia. Project team continued, Sister Veronica Donatello, Episcopal Conference of Italy, National Catechetical Office, responsible for the catechesis of persons with disability. Christina Gangemi, Director, the Kairos Forum. We thank people from throughout the world who shared footage for inclusion in this video. All rights reserved. Permission is granted to download and share this video in whole or in part Provided credit is given to the National Catholic Partnership on Disability and notification is sent to ncpd at ncpd.org. Distributed by National Catholic Partnership on Disability, www.ncpd.org.